In this video, I'm going to show how to import some stakeout points into your design and then stake those points out using a GPS rover. So to get started, we're going to go up to the home button and we're going to go to data management and to the point manager. Okay, when you open up the point manager, you have a choice to import point file. So right now I have a USB stick plugged into the tablet with the stakeout point file that I want. So I'm going to go hit, hit the import point file and it wants to know if it's a control point. If you hit the down arrow, you can say it's a stakeout point. So I want to bring in the stakeout points and the style guide SiteWorks default is a CSV file. So if you, you need to have the file in a CSV format in order to bring it in, and then you can tap to select the file in this box. So it's going to open the select file window and then it's going to go to the C drive automatically to look for that file. So we have a USB stick plugged in. So we're going to go to the D drive and this will show the files that are on my D drive. And I have a SiteWorks training folder. If I open that, I have a light pole stakeout point CSV in there. So that's the file that I want to bring in that has my light poles in it. So I'm going to hit accept and then accept one more time. And it said four points were added. Okay. So it goes back out to my plan view. And if I zoom in now, you can see the four light poles have come, come in as stakeout points. So an X as the point is going to signify that that's a stakeout point. You can see up here, this one with the triangle is a control point. So you can tell the difference between your stakeout points from the other points. So if you want to uh, stake this point out, so the easiest way to stake this point out is just hold and tap with your finger or your stylus on that point. So I'm just going to hold and tap on that point and I can look at the point information. I can edit that point. I can stake it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit stake point. And from the location of where the rover is on the job, it's going to give you the direction you need to go to stake that point. So you can see on my info bar, I have the go northwest 31 feet. So I'm just going to walk, you know, towards that point until I get close. And if I need to, I can zoom in. And if you get within six feet of that point, you're going to get this extra information bar here that's going to show um, the north, south, east, and west navigation to get to that point. So as you get closer to it, you'll see that the numbers are changing. And if I want to get it perfect, I want these two numbers to be zero and zero. So I'm within a couple of hundredths, close enough for a stake. So I can go ahead and pound my stake in there. And then once I want to measure the elevation, I can hit the measure button down below and it's going to pop up my stake report. So on the stake report, it's going to give you a bunch of information here, um, what the ground elevation is. Um, what the design elevation is and how close we were to that actual point. So it shows the deviation was 600. So that should be close enough for a stake. And then also gives me the fill from the ground to the point that I want to stake. So if I go up top here to the diagram, it also gives me the stake writer. So it tells me from the ground measure up 0.56 and then put a mark on the stake and that would be a fill six to the grade, the design grade. So if I hit accept here, it's going to mark it with a flag. So a green flag means that you marked it and your stake was in tolerance and you're ready to go and do another stake. So um, you can do the same thing here. You could just walk down to the stake number two and you can hold and tap on this point and do the same thing and say stake point. So I can I can choose stake point. It's going to give me the the same routine here. I'm just going to walk to it, follow that direction until I get to the point and then I hit stake. So the other way you can get to staking a point is you can come up to the main menu in the top left. And go to the stake menu and say change stake object. So you can hit stake, change stake object, and it's now going to let me just tap on the screen so I can choose this LP3 or I can choose the LP4 and it's also picking up some other things that are nearby so you can see that there's a a curb line 
front and back there as well. So it gives you the option to choose if you're zoomed out too far, which one you want to choose. So if I say LP4, I can choose that and you can see it highlights it. And then the other option is come up here to the right hand side and grab this menu up top here. And this is my list of points. So you can see my control points are in here as well as my four stakeout points. So you can choose from the list if you decide you want to choose light pole number two, you can highlight it, hit accept, and then you can hit accept one more time and it's going to stake out light pole number two. So just a couple different ways to, to stake out points uh, using a GPS rover.